If you're thinking about trying Joomla for the first time, well, I've got a great tip for you. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Now, for years, the Joomla community has provided a cloud-based solution for you to get eh, familiar with Joomla, get up and running really quickly. And it's right here at Joomla.org. All right, so head over to Joomla.org and click on the big Launch button in the top right. All right, so once you click on Launch, you'll be brought to this screen where you'll enter a subdomain that doesn't exist somewhere else on the system. They'll check that for you when you click Launch Now. The next screen will ask you which version of Joomla you want to install. I'm going to encourage you to stick with the stable version of Joomla 4, not the nightly builds. When you click on that, it'll remind you that you have to renew your website every month. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. All right, scroll down and click Continue. Enter in all of your personal information here. Yes, a phone number is required because they're going to text you a number to verify your information. Once you've filled that out, agree to the terms and service and the privacy policy, and then help support Joomla by opting into the provider's marketing campaign. Remember, this is free, and Cloud Access is partnered with the Joomla community to provide this service for us. So they don't spam. They're really good about it. Go ahead and put a check mark there, and then click Register. Once you click Register, you'll get a little pop-up that says, hey, we'll give you five bucks off. Don't worry, you don't have to do that. But if you want to use your own custom domain name, you'll need to. Otherwise, just click Not Now. And then, well, if you get this, go ahead and do the CAPTCHA. Click Verify. And this process takes about a minute setting up your account. I'm going to pause the video here, and I'll come back when it's done. Indeed, that took just over a minute, and you're going to be redirected to your control panel pretty quickly. If not, just click that link. All right, by now you've gotten a text message. Go ahead and verify your account given the six-digit token that they sent you. Once your account's verified, that'll disappear, and you're taken to your control panel. And your Joomla site is now spinning up. Now, this does take another minute or so, so I'm going to pause the video, and I'll pick it up when it returns. All right, and there we are. My site is ready to go, ostips.joomla.com. And you'll see here in the middle, I've got 30 days to renew this site. Don't worry, I can come back and click this Renew button anytime, as long as I want to keep working with the site. As long as I don't mind it being on a subdomain of Joomla.com, I'm good to go. And that's it. Go ahead and click on the link for your site. And you can click on Open Site or Open Administrator, or you can even install additional languages. If you click on Open Site, it will take you to the front end of your new Joomla site, which is a blank site using the Cassiopeia template. And you're all set to go. So from here, you can build a Joomla site. They don't restrict what extensions you can install. And the only other caveat is you only have 500 megabytes of space until you upgrade to an actual plan. So if you're just getting into Joomla, this is a really great way to do it saves all the hassle of setting up some kind of local environment or buying a hosting plan somewhere, and it's free. You can't beat that. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We just released our Joomla 4 course at OS Training. You should check it out over at OSTraining.com. It's a complete and comprehensive course on everything you need to know about Joomla 4. We release a new video every week. Take a minute to subscribe, give us a like, and we'll see you next time.